Welcome back, my gorgeous friends. Today, we're going to cut my bangs and I'm going to show you how I do it. And I'm going to decide what length I want them to be. They're getting a little too long and they're starting to poke in my eye. So let's take care of those. Let's get started. Okay, so what you'll need is a couple clips to hold the rest of your hair back. A good pair of cutting shears. These are the Cricut logos from Sally's Beauty Supply and a comb. Okay, so I've clipped this hair out of the way and I'm going one half inch back from my hairline. And this will depend on where your hairline starts. You don't want to go back too far, but you don't want to go back not far enough either. You want to separate it in a V-like shape from the rest of your hair. That way it, when you cut it, it's not just going to be just one fringe of bang laying straight down, but it's going to give you this extra here to layer it so that it creates movement within the bang and flows better with your hair. So take out a V-like angle, one inch back from your hairline. And then the next thing you want to do is establish how long you want your bangs. And what I like to do is I like to push on them because this is going to give the actual length of the bang at the moment because there's a little bit of a bow in there from styling. And I like my bangs. This is just me personally. You'll have to decide based on where where you like your bangs. I don't like my bangs. As you can see, they're going right into my lash line, which bothers me. So I like to come up right here, right in the shading of my eyeshadow here, right there. So I need to cut off a little bit. It looks like almost an inch there. So I'm going to, now I'm not going to push on my bangs now. I'm just going to free hand cut them because if I push on my bangs now and I cut it right there, it's going to pop up a little bit shorter. So I'm going to free hand it right now. We're just going to, and I'm going to make a little moon shape here. Instead of going straight across, I'm going to do a little half moon. And the reason I'm not holding them down is because I'm letting my hair fall naturally where it wants to fall. Because bangs hang different. And even though technically the line is straight, they can hang funny depending on how your hair is, how far back you go. So that's why I like to do this it this way gives me just a little bit more control and I cutting, I'm cutting them dry. That gives you also more control. Take my little cosmetic brush here and I brush away the hairs since I'm cutting dry. So now that I have the length cut, now I'm going to come in on the top and I'm going to section out just the top level. What I mean by level is the hair just behind, just behind the hairline. So I have hair here on my hairline and I'm coming just behind it. And I'm just going to grab some of that hair all the way across on the top of this triangle. And then I'm going to come forward here with my fingers and I'm going to come up at an angle making sure that my fingers are pointing down. And what I'm going to do is come to the very edge and I'm going to take off approximately half an inch right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to layer my bangs a little bit so they don't all fall straight 
and flat and it gives them some movement like this. So if I want to push my bang over to the side, see that how there's some layering now in there, but it's super duper light layering and it's tip layering. So it doesn't, the layers don't go deep toward the hairline. It's just on the tips because you're just cutting like a half inch off. And so that top layer is a half inch shorter than the under layer, which gives you the stacking effect, which then thus creates movement and motion in your bang. Now, as I'm getting older, I'm losing hair up front. It's not as thick as it was before. Bangs can also do a great wonder in concealing um, thinning up in here. So talk to your hairdresser, have them discuss it with you before you cut bangs, but sometimes having all one length hair and having some thinning up front, it shows a little bit more. So I'm able to conceal some of the, the places here by having bangs. All right, so that's how you do it. It's totally easy and you can do this at home by yourself. Now, if you want to start a little bit with a little bit less, you can always cut off more. So I would start cutting just a little bit at a time. And then if you need, you feel you need to take off more, or if you need to feel you need to go back a little further, you can go back a little further. Of course, once the hair is cut off, you can't put it back on. Although hair does grow a half an inch a month. So no worries. If you end up taking off a little too much, it'll be a month or two and it'll all be back. So thank you so much for watching as always. Click subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. Click like if you like the content and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.